big thing I talk about in this, in that chapter of the book has to do with content marketing. Like, and this is something I get a lot of pushback from practitioners about is they have to develop a good content marketing strategy. Well, that's what we do. Uh, exactly. That's why I bring it up. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. See, I see. I can, I can tee you up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's, you know, practitioners don't, I, well, I think that, uh, I don't know what it is, but a lot of practitioners don't. Well, it's hard work to write a bunch of crap. Well, I think it's also maybe a lot of folks don't make the connection yeah. between the inputs and the outputs. That's right. They That's just true. see, you want me to write a blog post every week and yep. it takes me half an hour and I'm yep. not going to see SEO results for six months. Yep. Like there's a disconnect <clears throat> in the cause and effect right. chain there. Right, right. And so- because they you see know, it as screaming into the void. Um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and with right. your with offline stuff, I mean, I'll pound the monthly newsletter a marketing tactic all day long. Yep. But aside from that, and maybe writing a book, things like that, there's not a whole lot of offline content marketing per se. When we talk about content marketing, it's primarily online. Yep. And creating all that content, it's a job. Like. Yep. Yep. It's work. I mean, you have an entire team of people, several yep. people. Yep. That's all they do. Yep. That's right. Well, and I, I put my hands to work. all of it too. I put my hands to it too still. Yes. And I've got 20 employees because it matters that it's done right. 